hi welcome back to my channel princess beyond passions my name is princess in today's video i'm going to talk to you about complimenting each other i answered a question which a viewer had asked me the link to that video is in the description below okay mm -hmm. i had started talking to you about putting in 100 percent of yourself into your relationship and not 50 percent right you remember that video if you have not seen it check the description below it's there go check it out i was saying to you that in your marriage relationship that you are putting in 100% and your partner is putting in 100%. You are not contributing 50%. You do not look at it that way. Okay, that you need 100 pounds in this relationship. And so your partner brings 50% pounds and you bring 50% pounds to make it 100% pounds. No, it doesn't work that way. As long as it is a relationship, it is a marriage relationship, you are putting in the whole of yourself. You are investing the whole of yourself into this marriage or into this marriage relationship to make it work. Nobody goes into a marriage relationship to begin to have bad intentions about her partner. Nobody does that because a marriage relationship is a whole investment. Think about how long it took you to find your wife and he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from God. So you think about how long it took you to be on the lookout and to eventually find a wife and how long it took you to get ready and prepare yourself and then prepare to marry your wife and then you marry your wife and then you start investing and investing into this marriage relationship. And for you, the woman, remember how long it took you to wait and to trust God and believe God for this husband to come. And now the husband is here. So you cannot afford to just say, oh, because my partner is doing this or my partner is doing that. And then you have, you begin to have your eyes on another woman. I have your eyes on another man thinking that the grass is greener on the other side. Because when you are here, the grass is going to look greener on the other side, Right. It's going to look greener, but by the time you get to that other side, you will discover that the grass is indeed perhaps the same thing with the one you have just left or even <laughs> worse than the one you have just left. Provided you are not going through emotional abuse in that marriage relationship, you are not going through physical abuse in that marriage relationship, you are not going through financial abuse. You are not going through the other forms of abuses in, in that marriage relationship, provided you are not going through that. If it is just that your partner is not doing some things that you expect him or her to do, therefore you are looking out. You are just going to bring trouble, more trouble into that relationship by looking out or by, by cheating or by having an affair with someone else with the intention of, okay, switching over. And then you're just going to invite other spirits and other entities. And you're just going to make the relationship so cumbersome, right? So instead of doing that, pour in your best. Put in your 100%. A marriage relationship is a lifetime commitment. Is a lifetime investment. So think about it as a lifetime investment which you have made. Therefore, you cannot just throw away this investment just because your partner is not uh, doing some things right by your standard. For example, you're a man and you have told your partner, oh, stop wearing these clothes. I don't want you to wear these clothes anymore. Yes, I used to like it before, but now uh, your status has changed and uh, your age is changing and your maturity is changing and everything is changing. Fine, that is true. So instead of saying, oh, my partner doesn't want me to wear these kind of clothes anymore, I'm just using clothes as an example, but it's part of it. 
oh my partner doesn't want me to wear this kind of clothes anymore i used to wear this and he used to like it when we were dating you used to like it. you used to love it you used to do this you used to tell me wear this or wear that now you don't like it anymore you only now want me to be wearing long dresses or you want me to wear this or i'm saying to you there comes a time in one's life that one has to change and that one has to embrace change right so why don't you now think of trying out new things let me try it this way and see if it will work this way or instead of me always telling this person do it that way don't do it this way oh go this way or don't go that way let me myself do some things perhaps by the time i do it this way or do it that way perhaps my partner might notice what i am doing and follow suit it's like leading by example, ain't it? It's like, instead of telling me what to do, why don't you do what I do? Something like that. Rather than looking out, start cheating or to go having an affair or, or to go have a side piece or to give your partner 50% and reserve 50% to go give to another person out there with the hope that you're going to start investing in another person. Then that person will come in later on now, now become your partner. And then you discard this and all instead of all that. It might not be better anywhere else. Stay and build up what you have. Put in the work. There's no relationship that you have that will just be, ooh, just, just be going like on a cruise. You have to put in the work. Do your own best first. The person you are dealing with is, is a human being. That person will eventually come to see the work that you are doing in that relationship and will appreciate you for it over time. Your man will see the work that you are doing as a woman and will come to appreciate you over time. And you, the woman, if you calm down and take, take a step back and listen, you know, you know, the problem with women, I'm a woman, we, we are detailed, but we don't listen. We don't pay attention to what the man is saying sometimes. Just pay attention first and listen first. You might be hearing him and blah, blah, blah. blah. No, but you don't, you're not listening. So pay attention, listen first, listen, and then try and re-strategize. Find another way. I mean, what you keep doing, you keep doing it the same thing, the same thing all the time, the same thing all over and over and it's not working. Why don't you find another way to do that thing? And you might be surprised. <laughs> it, might, it might just work. So instead of thinking, oh, there's a better person out there, so I'm just going to quit this relationship and go for You better take care of the one that you have. There's no best person out there. Everybody has to work on their relationship. Everybody has to work on themselves. You and your partner will arrive at your own rhythm. You don't have to do what I do. You don't have to do what Mr. A or Mr. B does. But you and your partner will have to work it out to arrive at a rhythm. If you like what I do in this channel, give this video a thumb up. Subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell to all. So you'll be notified of my uploads. Share this video. Leave me comments in the comment section below. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.